Standing room only today as Congressman Matt Gates made a stop in Northwest Florida. Channel 3's Daniela Polinar joins us in the studio to share some of the topics he discussed. From immigration to the economy, even his recent appearance on talk show The View, there was a lot to talk about this morning. People packed into Hub Stacy's on Perdido Key for Open Gates Day. The congressman makes several stops in his district to interact with his constituents. Today, he addressed the current state of the economy, saying more than 7 million jobs have been created and millions of people have been taken off food stamps under President Donald Trump. Another topic, education. And when he talked about improving the Escambia County School District, the people cheered. The congressman says it's one of the many complaints he gets. As a team uh, here in Escambia County, uh, we're going to do everything we can to ensure that our schools are not a liability, but our schools are our greatest asset, and that we are driving those reforms at the school level, the district level, and everywhere we see them in our community. Are you with me in that? In that? Some other topics brought up by people in the crowd included immigration, the war on drugs, and cannabis reformation. Throughout the event, Gates asserted his America First stance, saying we need to fix our country before fixing others. An example he gave, build the wall on the U.S.-Mexico border before securing Iraq's border with Iran. He also promoted Governor Ron DeSantis' E-Verify legislation. This would require private business owners and employers to use the system. In turn, Gates says this will not allow employers to hire undocumented workers for less.